Welcome back. Our next guest by this time needs no introduction, but I'll introduce her anyway, because you know how much I love introducing friends of mine and friends of Good Day Orange County. Janet Woods is a certified feng shui grandmaster, a lifestyle expert, author, speaker. She's a White House honoree. She has gobs of experience helping people take their environment and their life and make it better. And so today we are specifically welcoming spring with Dr. Janet, and we are going to learn about space clearing and specifically the what, the why, and the how of harmonizing your environment. Did you know that space clearing can lead to, oh, increased creativity, peace of mind, all kinds of happiness in the home and in the workplace? I say thank you. Yes, more of that for all of us. Janet, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming back and for loving us and gifting us with your time. Well, thank you so much for having me. I love the audience, and I love sharing all kinds of, I want to call it secret information. <laughs> I love that you love us. I mean, the fact that you live in Laguna Woods doesn't hurt. <laughs> yes, it does. Yes, yes. And so it's all good. And I know how much your information helps everyone. So bringing you in for spring, it feels like the season hasn't arrived until we visited with you. Oh, well, thank you, Lauren. I so love that. <laughs> So let's let's see where this journey takes us. Space clearing is a big thing. A lot of people are downsizing. A lot of people even are not downsizing their physical space, but they want to have less stuff. What's the benefit? What's the value? Why do we do this? Well, I want you to keep in mind that when we get up in the morning, we take a shower and we start our day. Space clearing is very similar to that. You clear the energy in your space and it allows you to be the best person possible. You get new energy, a new focus, and most of all, each day you have a new life. It makes perfect sense to me and it's one of those wash and repeats, but the idea of space clearing in my head says I have mm -hmm. to set aside at least four hours to actually make any progress with anything. Is that true? Not at all. Not at all. It depends on what kind of clearing that we're doing. So, you know, there's four different kinds of clearing. There's the physical, there's the emotional, there's the digital. And what else is there? What is the fourth one? Hmm. Maybe it would be hmm, physical, digital, emotional emotional, and then spiritual. And you can clear energy in 30 seconds, depending upon what it is. I'll give you so an tell example. me more about that, please. please. <laughs> we all use our cell phones and we have alarms on our cell phone. Well, let's say that you're having a conversation. Look, notice this with a girlfriend. <laughs> and you're not liking what she's saying. So you hang up the phone and you're like, Hmm. you like, I want to just like get rid of that conversation. Well, what you do is you go into your cell phone, uh, you go to your alarm and you pick the tone that says chimes. Pick it, set a time and let it go off and it clears the energy of the conversation. How does it do that? The sound of the chimes clears energy you know how when you go to church and they're ringing the bells when there's a wedding or when there's you know a funeral or any type of celebration well guess what when you ring a bell it clears the energy a lot of people thought that churches are ringing the bell because of the different circumstances but in essence they were ringing the bell to release the energy what had happened there Wow. Okay. Well, that actually is probably the most useful use of my alarm ever. <laughs> I love and that. that. <laughs> yeah, that's just one of eight different ways that you can instantly actually clear your energy. So let's go on with this. What else can you do quickly, easily? 
Absolutely. Well, when we look at the eight different ways of clearing energy, we have like music, water, crystals, um, also fire, which is my favorite, salt. We love salt. Also symbols that you can wear and then prayer and mantras. And so each one of these has a special application, but they all clear energy. So if you don't like one, you can do another. I'll give you an example. Fire is one of my favorites. And so lighting white candles clears the energy. If you don't want to do candles, then you can do the white electronic tea lights. Leave them on for 10 minutes and it clears the energy of the space. Or you can also get wow. one, of, one of the seven day candles. Um, you can get them at any metaph metaphysical store or any any actually religious store as well. And the candles will burn for seven hours, but I don't recommend that. I recommend that say for instance, full moon. Full moon is all about releasing and getting rid of things. And so what you can do is at sundown, you can light a seven day candle and let it burn uh, until you get ready to go to bed. And it also clears energy and you can set your intentions about what you would like to release. That's another way of clearing energy. So how then would I use symbols or some of the other things you mentioned, like my head is just, okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, but when you said fire, I thought, okay, not burn the place down, right? <laughs> no, no, you don't need to burn the place down, uh, but you can light candles. You can also burn incense, um, depending upon what it is. And I'm going to give your people, um, if they go to the website, I'm going to give them a list and they will know what I use. And then they can develop theirs as well. But lighting incense, lighting candles. Um, also keep in mind that fire destroys things. And so when we look at destroy, what it means is whatever you release, you are raising what it is that you need from the ashes, just like the phoenix. Okay. So you're, you're basically clearing your physical space, but also your emotional and mental space. Mm -hmm. When you say water, I think of swimming, I think of showers and baths, and, and I'm sure a lot of people um, use that. I mean, I think immersion mm -hmm. and just the cleansingness, that, that is easier to make sense of. Um, well, you have stepped into water, so let me give your, your um, viewers some water recipes. <laughs> One of the things that you want to do is you want to get a spray water bottle and you want to make sure it's glass or you can take a glass of water, put it outside in the sun for 10 minutes, bring it back in, add a prayer to the water, pour it into a spray water bottle and you have instant holy water. Oh. And you can walk around your your apartment, your condo, your home, and just give each room a spray. And that also clears the energy. Amazing. So it doesn't have to touch you. Mm -mm. It will impact your space just by being yes. in the air around you. But if okay. you want it to impact you, I love roses. And rose fragrance has the highest vibration on the planet. So one of the things you can do is go to what I call an international market, uh, whether it be, um, well, we have different international markets depending upon where you are, but we have several mm -hmm. here in Orange County and go there and buy some rose water. And instead of using regular water, you pour the rose water into the glass, leave it for 10, 10 minutes, bless it, bring it back in. And I use rose water to spray my face and clear my aura. Field. Well, clearly it's working because you are absolutely radiant <laughs> and glowing. But, oh. So tell me, um, tell me about infusing the water with other fragrances. I mean, rose water is, is the highest. I know people mm -hmm. tend to like their own fragrance. Well, we can do lemon. So you can do um, the oil, the essence of lemon through essential oils. Um, also, when you go to the international market, they also have orange water. Mm -hmm. You can use orange water as well. 
all of those are known to clear energy and be very cleansing for us. Do you find that now just, you know, time being what it is that people are looking for more of this energetic, holistic approach to just being our best and really bringing out our own essence? Absolutely. One of the things I found during the pandemic, uh, people, you know, they were inside quite a bit and no one was talking about what we're talking about today. And so they're sitting in all their stuff 24 seven. And so coming out of the pandemic, people are starting to realize they're out in the fresh air and they want to bring that back into their home. Or they notice that their energy is low. They want their energy back. And so space clearing and harmonizing is a way to do that. And that's so why interesting I'm so because, glad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that we're bringing it forward because when we started, when we initially started the conversation, when you said space clearing, I thought we were talking about moving stuff out. But this is actually more, isn't it? It's more. It's the invisible, which is impacting the physical. And then how does that, because I know this is, this is really, you know, high on your scale of relationship is mm -hmm. how does this then lead to higher creativity, greater peace of mind, clarity in so many things? How is the connection made? Well, let's talk about sound. Music has a way of clearing energy. And so any type of string instrument, um, any type of classical music or jazz, just, oh, and piano, playing any type of music like that in your home actually clears the energy. Not only that, but it also clears the mind. It allows you to have a much better mindset, which influences everything. Incredible. So it makes sense to me that musicians, when mm -hmm. they play, basically, they're clearing their space constantly and becoming mm -hmm. more and more creative in that space. Yes. And in actuality, um, here at Laguna Woods, um, we have some music channels and you can just turn on that music and it will automatically, you know, have it in the background. It's clearing your space and your energy and it changes your mindset and it allows you to be more creative and more expansive. What about movement? Is that also one of your eight ways, like changing your physiology? Does that impact? Well, I don't really consider movement to be part of that because what we're talking about is the invisible movement you can see <laughs> true <laughs> yes but let's talk about symbols um we as humans we wear symbols all the time but we don't think about it and so if you're wearing your cross or you're wearing your star of david or if you are wearing something that symbolizes something special to you you're also clearing energy Interesting. And it feeds, so it feeds you inside and out. Is yes. there anything around touching it, feeling it, being suddenly aware of it, or is it just the presence that just, makes it functional for you? Just the presence of it makes it functional. And if somebody's looking at you, they're seeing the symbol too, which is pretty cool. Let's talk that about crystals. Cool. Mm -hmm. talk, go ahead. Let's talk about crystals. Yes. Yes. Um, crystals are symbolic as well. And crystals have certain energy, energetic principles that not only affect you, but it affects your space and the people that are in it. And so wearing amethyst or wearing, I want to say, um, anything that's special to you, but also like rose quartz is about love and friendship. So wearing rose quartz, symbolic, but it brings that energy in. Um, of course, amethyst is about forgiveness, but it's also one of my favorite stones. But in addition to that, we have a whole different arena of different crystals that you can wear, whether it be a bracelet, 
a necklace or earrings that also clear energy and not just you, but the people that are looking at you as well. I had a friend once who used to carry crystals in her pockets mm -hmm. and, and she added like 15 pounds onto her person. Just, it was, <laughs> you know, she, she got exercise <laughs> and at the same time she got, she got the energetic infusion. I thought it was very funny. She would, you know, sit down and turn her pockets inside out and all these crystals. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but she was clearing you and her. <laughs> Apparently, she was clearing the whole vicinity. <laughs> was very generous. In the end, I understand it was an act of generosity. <laughs> yes, yes, but, indeed. But truthfully, all this stuff is based in historical practice, historical tradition. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything that has to do with energy was understood many thousands of years ago. So how do you adapt? these are the ways we've adapted the ancient traditions. Mm -hmm. Is there something else that you recommend? Well, when we talk about ancient traditions, we know in the, um, I want to say American Indian philosophy, they would use smudging uh, to clear the energy, not only of their space, but also the land around it. Um, it's been adapted today by a lot, by a lot of real estate people. Um, I usually don't recommend that type of clearing because you have to use a lot of sage in order for you mm. to do that. But that's one of the traditions. And so we go back to fire where you can light candles and use incense. Um, also, when we talk about incense, incense, I think it came from Babylonia and that's like 6,000 years old. Um, and, you know, that's another tradition that we have carried forward. But let's take a look at water. So when we talk about water, we're also talking about, well, I don't know if it would be water, but sweat lodges. Okay. And so, and so then we bring in what we have today, which is the infrared sauna to get rid of toxins, another invisible thing that we don't see that benefits us on so many levels. And then of course we have prayer. It has been known that the Lord's Prayer is used all the time to clear spiritual energy, whether whatever your um, denomination is, it works. Yeah, that's that's a beautiful thing about prayer. It, no matter what you say, mm -hmm. it's it's yours and mm -hmm. it elevates. Just mm -hmm. I think that it's that moment of Zen, right? Yes, absolutely. And then you also have, um, when we talk about the moment of Zen, um, when we do that, we also are talking about meditation. And meditation does not have to be hours long. It can actually be just five minutes sitting in silence and being with yourself. Just again, it's about energy, right? Centering that energy, focusing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and actually the absence of thinking, I find. Mm -hmm. opens up a whole new portal, right? Yes, it does. It absolutely does. And so, um, so I'm so excited that we're here. I'm talking over you, so please forgive me. No, no, it's, no, it's okay. I'm happy. Again, we're both excited and I love the subject so much. And I just, I want everyone to get everything. So I know that you have endless amounts of things to share. And I want to make sure that, um, our viewers know mm -hmm. where they can find your information, where can they get more? And also I believe you have an offer. So I'm kind of jumping a little bit ahead to make okay. sure that we, that we get it in. Okay. Well, let's see. What would you like first, the offer or how to get a hold of me? Let's do how to get a uh, hold. <laughs> My information is very easy. Um, you can reach me on, let's say email. And it is Janet at JanetWoods.com. So that's more than one tree. And then also, when you go to the website, um, which is JanetWoods.com, uh, there is a, a little thing you can fill out. And that'll allow me to get in touch with you. And about the offer that I have, I mean, we've been talking quite a bit about the different things that people can do. And that's very audio. But there's some people that want to have, a, I want to say, a piece of paper that has all the information on it. 
So when you go to the website, fill out the form and say, I want the paper. <laughs> I want it on paper. And we will send that out to you so that you have not only what to do, but all the instructions and the different things that I use personally um, that clear energy as well. So that's the eight step guide, right? That's, eight step that's what guide. people should be asking for is the eight mm -hmm. step guide. And yes. they can do that through the website. Yes. And I do know that there's something that you absolutely love that comes to your house on a regular basis, which is our Start Healthy magazine. And so if you go to the website and fill out the form and say, I want the magazine, we will give you a free subscription, which is normally, I think it's $59 a year. And it comes bi-monthly and it's packed with all kinds of information. It is. I can vouch for that. I love it. My mother loves hers. We compare notes after we've read it. It's <laughs> It's been so much fun to learn from you. And it's always a learning experience. Janet, thank you for coming back to share with us. I so appreciate it. It now is officially spring and we can clear our energy using some techniques and some ideas that I'm sure most of us have not thought of before. And we'll look forward to seeing you again next time. Oh, Lauren, thank you so much. And I'm looking forward to people having cleared space. Perfect. And we'll be right back.